has such a bad rap from its early days. Back in the early 70s, I mean, there were like 50 people dying a year. Hey, that's a good thing. Come on, you've all fought it. When I tell people I'm a hang glider pilot, they think, man, you're crazy. Tension, tension. But still, isn't there that tugging curiosity to try it? There's just something about hanging in the air at 2,500 feet, and the view is unbelievable. It's the weirdest thing to look down on a bird as, as you're circling together like this. It's the ultimate. It's the most fun. It's the most exciting. It's the most enjoyable. For 79-year-old Clifford Fraser, floating thousands of feet above the ground is no problem. In fact, this former pilot traded his wings permanently for a glider. Flying an airplane to me now is like being in a metal box and you're, you're hardly moving. And in the hang glider, I mean, everything's moving, you feel the wind, and you, and you look at the scenery even better. I'm going to try out hang gliding for the first time, and George Hamilton here is my instructor on the first solo flight. George, one question for you. How safe is this? It's very safe. Still, George spent the next hour convincing me. So if the glider's certified for 200 pounds, it can actually hold 1,200. Bring your hands up onto the down tubes. Back of trim. And the hour after that, training. Try another one to the right. That's it, good relax. We even got advice from some other new students. I've seen that uh, there's a lot of improvement in safety. So uh, uh, I said, let me give it a shot. And what do you think? Good. In fact, there's so much improvement in safety, these hang gliders are constructed in an aircraft quality material. These are not the bamboo and plastic things they were back in the 70s. Today, they're, they're high performance aircraft that have safety features built in. We wear parachutes if uh, anything goes wrong. Beginners start off running, falling, and trying to feel what it's like a few feet off the ground. What we're about to do now is called ground skimming, meaning we're still attached to the towing system, but we can still get some pretty good air. Tension. 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 The tow force eventually gives the hang glide enough lift to soar upwards of 40 feet. But it's not the height you're focusing on. It's listening to the commands, controlling and steering the glider, and preparing for the descent. Oh no. Okay, push up. Hey, it could have been worse. And no matter how bad the landing, fear is squashed, and you're left with dreams of new heights. It's kind of an adventure. It's kind of something like, wow, this is pretty cool. So I, th I think it's something that most people that have even a little bit of adventurous to side to them would, would absolutely love to try. Louisa Hodge, 